This is the ninth year of collecting data through the Workplace Gender Equality Agency's Employer Census. Over the past decade, we've learnt businesses with more women in leadership are more productive and profitable. And businesses that dismantle gender bias in recruitment see increases in women's workforce participation. But still many highly qualified, capable women work in less senior roles or fewer hours because they can't find an employer who supports genuine flexibility. And many men who want to take parental leave or work flexibly don't due to gender stereotypes and norms. Australia is facing a record labour shortage. The case for change has never been greater. And yet, the latest employer data shows progress on gender equality has stalled. Australia's latest gender pay gap is 22.8% exactly the same as last year. Women on average take home $26,000 less than men each year. Of the 19 industries in Australia, only eight have gender-balanced workforces, with at least 40% women and 40% men. The gender pay gap in eight industries has increased. Workplace change is possible. Throughout the pandemic, we saw a sharp rise in organisations with formal policies on remote working. Employers are embracing all sorts of flexibility, including carer's leave, job sharing, flexible hours and purchase leave. But women are still more likely to be employed in part-time and insecure casual work. And in just 41% of managerial positions. Australia needs to pick up the pace to improve workplace gender equality. Will your organisation embrace the case for change and make gender equality a reality? Head to our website to view our latest gender equality census results and find out how you can take action in your workplace.